Welcome to a new Vaudeville Review, the show that celebrates life in Waldo County. Whoa, hold on a second there. Life in Waldo County? Hmm, an interesting proposition if we're talking about human life. I mean, you know, I've been living around here for almost 30 years now, and I still ain't a Mena. <laughs> now, even if you're born here, that doesn't necessarily make you a native. Just ask Tim Sample. He said just cause kittens are born in the oven don't make them biscuits. And the fact is, it's very important who gets to complain about all those folks from away ruining our way of life. No matter how long you've been here, you probably like to complain about that too. So, a new vaudeville review has conducted an in-depth, incisive historical investigation to ascertain exactly who were the first Flatlanders to come here and start fouling up our wonderful way of life. And now begins the saga. It was in early ages when eagles screamed and holy waters glided from the heaven mountains. Two of Odin's family sent as brothers across the sea. The foremost, Finbogi, with a serpent in his eye, the high-minded one. The latter, Helgi, the hard-minded. Friend of wolves, <laughs> diminisher of peace, and champion of Nat Leek, the Northman's game of bat and ball. For them, the golden threads of fate were spun across a sea of troubles. Finn Bogey, great scald of the battlefield, grew weary of proclaiming the glory of King Olaf's victories and was eager to proclaim his own in a land yet unknown. Helgi, who could find no equal in the game of sport, longed to be champion of a people yet unknown. When banishment came, like the crash of Thor's hammer, the brothers rejoiced at the reasons for their journey to the land shrouded in myth and mist great Lethalucky had foretold of. To Finland the good, my brother, we'll go to find our fortune, decreed Finn Bogey. Hey, <laughs> Sounds good, the mighty brother wailed. does one get to Vinland the good? First, one mounts his line of the waves to Brawland, which carry thee to Halaland of the flat stones, then on to Markland of the woods, whose passages empty into Vinland the good, land of the grapes, where a mighty river empties into a bay. Jubilant were the brothers as Freda's gaze fell upon them with the rising moon. If I were native Skrelling, here I would spear sturgeon by the light of the moon, proclaimed Findbogi. <laughs> if Skrelling were me, by the bat, these sturgeon would lifeless lay under the moon, <laughs> roared Helgi. These revelations brought sleep to the weary brothers. <laughs> Having run ragged the sea king's deer, come the morn, hunger awoke the stomach of Helgi. The scent of fruit told him the truth of where he stood. 
This land could only be the lost mythical wonder, Vinland the Good. Grapes abounded and he began to feast. Finbogi awoke. What a waste of good cheer, you fool! These grapes you consume are the seeds of wine. Halt your consumption. And be of service to us both. The Viking way of making wine would yield not yeast and wasted time. A better way was native known. The Skrelling observing High Priestess Sock Alexis. To her people she was known as Vinter to her native gods and cunning competitor in games of bat and ball. Helgi was restrained from using his board of victory as a greeting. Finbogi knew finer ways. High Priestess Sock Alexis bade the brothers join her Vinland tradition of making wine. Her beauty was a pleasure to Finbogi's eye, and her intellect and skill a match for his own. <laughs> never, never, my brother! I shall go berserk if you continue in this task of a savage, cried Helgi. The sun stopped swimming in its heavenly pool as Helgi challenged Sock Alexis to Nat Leek, a most frightful duel. But the high priestess had her own way with Natalik, transforming it into a game that she knew well that the mighty Helgi could not overcome. <laughs> we will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Now send me to the hell I deserve. <laughs> Cleave my head from my body. <laughs> Stand and be pardoned, brood Helgi, fire of the battle. In my shame, I shall paddle with my hands to a new world. <laughs> and Helgi, diminisher of peace, took his scuta, his gull of the fjord, southerly under Vinland the Good, to a place called Tijuana, land of agave. <laughs> but it is better to be merry than to be downhearted, whatever may come to hand. Sock Alexis and Finbogi came to a great union, and from them was born the Red Sox Nation. <laughs> raven quotes to Raven, sitting on a high tree, this I know. <laughs> Thank you.
today's guest is a great performer coming all the way from Monroe, Maine. Please welcome Mr. Seth Yentes.
Okay, this song is called Roses. culture has a reputation well deserved for the art of love. No. Are you ready, senorita? Si, senor. Arr. <laughs> we sip the wine of amor, exchanging glances in the magic light. We sip the vesa with limes, Mariachi in the bayside night. We pledged our love by the silver moon above. He tasted my tacos and 
Sunday, his macho nachos <laughs> served hot at Dos Amigos. <laughs> now I look to the hills. My love's vamoosed when he e'er returns. On his stallion he rode. Oh, how my lonely heart does yearn to gaze into his eyes, to hear the sound of his sighs. As once again he tastes my tacos and I his macho nachos at our sweet Dos amigos, what is the sound that I hear? Is it the thunder of the stallion's tread? My lost lover appears. Oh, how often I feared him dead. No need, my love, to cry. I kiss my traveling days goodbye for the taste of your tacos. Will you share your macho nachos forevermore at Dos Amigos? fun and excitement of a live action show. You too can see the big dame entertainers here at the American Legion Hall in Belfast and have a ball. Check out our next episode featuring Elizabeth Garber, Seth Yentes, Gibby Filford, and the Viking man, Andy McClure. Woo-wee! We're gonna have some fun! Yeah.